Hello everybody. Of course you know me. I'm Elizabeth Jones. Um, and I needed to get on here and admit that I was wrong. And sometimes that's a really hard thing to do, especially when you've done something that has went so far. Um, the, one of the, sup the supervisor at the Neon Water Company came to my house and I have to admit he was very very kind and um, it was a very awkward <laughs> initial meeting but um, he opened up the meter outside my house and he took a little white styrofoam cup and he sprayed the water that is in the neon lines into that cup that water was crystal clear it was as clear as any water that you buy at the store that he said is what the city water looks like for some reason the water that goes from that meter into my house doesn't and it never looks like that so there's a problem in but there wasn't a leak they looked on the meter and they couldn't find there was no leak either so it's not like they were um, that there's a, a leak from that meter to my house so but but what it means is that there's a problem in my house and it got me to thinking about how many of our houses are old and how many people are like me and are single women and don't have husbands we don't have sons you know that know how to do all this stuff and you know anymore if you hire somebody they just case your house out and come back and rob you so how many of us are accusing the neon city water department and it's not really the the city water it's something that's going on inside of inside of our house and I know this is strange you don't usually see people get on here and and admit to to doing something but I posted those pictures of my bathtub and I'm of course that that happened that's the kind of water that I've lived with for a very long time but my point is that it's not the neon city water department's fault and standing out there talking to him for as long as what I did I was humbled I was humbled a great deal and because I felt like I had caused because of my picture I had caused a great deal of heartache and trouble for that water department and if I would have just called him and let them come out to my house and check all this stuff this wouldn't have happened um, and, and I think that that's a lesson that the Lord has shown me is how many of us and hopefully by by me being willing to eat this crow <laughs> and put this egg on my face by me willing be being willing to video this and share it hopefully we can we can all learn a lesson from this and one thing that he <clears throat> talked to me about was how he just how much he has actually done for this water department and and I told I told him that because of such negative history because there wasn't such great ethical work before that reputation has followed the water company and even though he has made great strides and these workers have done a really good job even though they have people like me allowed our bias and our prejudice against the old way of doing things we've allowed that to to take uh, front stage and that was wrong of me 
and so the Lord really, the Lord really showed me a lot from that meeting just now. And because that I, I had actually spoken to my neighbor not too awful long ago, and I and I said something about the water, and and she said she drank it all the time, and I said what? You would drink that water? And she said, "Why, well, yeah, it, hers was." crystal clear her wa her water's been clear it's a problem in my house that's not and so anyway it made me think about how we need a more um, community we we need a better we need better communication poor communication caused every bit of this situation poor communication and jump into conclusions and not, you know, not doing my due diligence in calling them. And so, you know, this has just really been a great lesson. Uh, I, I, I've, I've learned many lessons from this. And, but I wanted to share that, share this with you all because, you know, that's one thing that that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to establish these community programs that will help the people. And if we have a whole lot of people like me who are having trouble out of their water, you know, if we're having a whole lot of people who, um, whether it's in their hot water heater or whether it's in the, the uh, I don't know, a leak in the ground or whether it's the filter, Regardless of what it is, we need to find out what it is. And maybe if we can work, all work together instead of working against one another, we can get more done and, and it'll be more for, for God's glory. He took what the devil meant for evil in this situation and he turned it around and he made it good. He made good come out of it. And even if it was showing me personally where I was wrong and he showed me also where I need to do better and that means you know when I have a problem I need to go to the source of the problem not just um, you know blab about it and so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this um, helps in some way shape or form God bless